Now in the previous part of the question, we discovered this particular formula that related x to y for the position of the particle at any point on the trajectory at time t. Now in this next part, this is quite interesting because we should use this particular formula. What we've got then is a girl throws a ball from a point A at the top of a cliff and the point A is apparently 8 metres above a horizontal beach. So I'm going to add to this diagram, I'm going to project a line down here and we're going to say that, okay, there's our beach, okay? So the girl projects this ball from this point here 8 metres above the horizontal beach. So let's just put that that distance there is 8 metres. And what else are we told? The ball is projected with a speed of 7 metres per second. So u here is 7 metres per second now. And it's projected an angle of elevation of 45 degrees. So alpha here is 45 degrees. Now this ball, okay, is going to follow this trajectory and then it, from here it's going to obviously come down something like this, not drawn that well, but land on the beach somewhere like this, okay? Now, we're asked to find the horizontal distance of the ball from A, okay, and this point here is now A, the horizontal distance that will be this distance, when the ball is one metre above the beach. Well, let's just suppose, and it's not drawn to scale, because that distance is eight metres, but I'm going to mark this in, that this distance to this point here is one metre, okay, from there down to there. Hope you can see that, okay? Now, if we're going to find that horizontal distance, that's that distance from there to there. Let's just mark it in as x, okay? From there to there. Now, this general point x, y, let's just remove it now and put it here as x, y. So to get x, what we've just got to do then is substitute various values into this general equation. But we've got to be very careful because let's take y for instance when y equals what is that value of y going to be? Remember that y is now going to be a negative number. It represents the displacement basically from O. And that displacement it was one meter above the ground here so it's going to be minus 7, because it was 8 metres down to the beach here. Okay, so we've got y equals then minus 7. We know alpha as well. Alpha is 45 degrees. And we also know u. u is 7. Okay, so we've got that. 7 metres per second. So we just need to substitute these values into this equation. So what are we going to get? Well, we've got for y minus 7 equals x tan alpha. So that's going to be x multiplied by the tan of 45 degrees. And then we've got minus g. Let's put in the value of g as 9.8. And then multiplied by x squared and it's all divided by 2 times u squared times cos squared alpha. So that's going to be 2 times u squared, so that's 7 squared, cos squared alpha, cos squared of 45 degrees. Okay, so we've got that now. So we just tidy this up. We've got minus 7 then equals tan of 45 degrees is 1. So that's really handy. Simplifies that term. So we're just left with x there. For this one, if you put this through your calculator, you should find that you end up with minus one fifth. So we just put that as minus a fifth, or 0 0.2, but I'm just gonna keep it as a fraction, minus one fifth, and that would be x squared. 
Now we've got essentially a quadratic equation here, so we need to rearrange it, make it equal to zero. And I'd want to get rid of this five, so I'm going to multiply throughout by five. And so I'm going to get minus 35 there equals 5x minus x squared. And if I rearrange this, it follows that I'm going to have x squared minus 5x minus 35 equals 0. So to solve this quadratic equation I would want to first of all see if it factorizes, but it doesn't. So I'm going to need to use the quadratic formula. I'm assuming that you're happy with that, x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where a is 1, b is minus 5 and c is the minus 35. So if we substitute it into that formula, x equals minus b, so you've got minus minus 5, so that's 5, plus or minus the square root then of b squared, so that's minus 5 all squared, minus 4 times a, so a is 1, times c, c is minus 35, all divided by 2a, so 2 times the a value which was 1. Okay, now if you get on your calculator and work that out, you get two answers. If you take the plus value, you end up with x equaling 8.922 and so on. And if you take the negative value, you end up with x equaling minus 3.922 and so on. Now, obviously x has got to be positive, so we'll just say that since x is greater than 0, we therefore have that x equals 8.92 meters, and we'll give that to three significant figures, 3SF. Alright? Okay, so there you go, that's that part.